like Zaxby's. Okay, so our Gulf Shores 2022 trip. Here it is. I like doing this. I like seeing our videos, you know, after some time has passed, after a couple of years or so, and just seeing seeing the kids keep growing and just kind of help, help, help me remember, uh, you know, kind of refresh my memory sometimes. I'll be honest, my memory is always not the best. I've kind of, things kind of muddled together sometimes, but uh, we always have a good time at Gulf Shores. Always enjoy it, always look forward to it. And then uh, always hate leaving and always, I always want to go back as soon as we leave. You know, we wish we could stay there longer. So day one, when we take off on Friday, took off on Friday, June 24th, and I had gotten up and did some work early that morning, and I could tell after the first hour into it, I was struggling a little bit, but I was, Nader knew, she, she would tell me later, she she saw all the signs that I, all the things I do, all the, all the, you know, just munching on gummy bears and trying to drink Mountain Dews or whatever, and trying to stay awake, but I made it to uh, Shreveport. We ate at a Zaxby's. We always like Zaxby's. That's something from our very first time back in 2015 that we found a Zaxby's for the first time while Adrian drove the rest of the way to Jackson. We, it's a good 11 hours and so we like to break it up and we'll go about six hours the first day and get to uh, Jackson, Mississippi. Of course, we got to swim in the pool there Adrian did a good job searching for, you know, you know, make, making sure, you know, that's got a hot breakfast in the morning, you know, especially after COVID shutdown, some hotels do other things. We want, we want the hot, the hot breakfast. And so I had a, had a pool, kids swim in, but also had a fitness center and size, you know, size going into middle school and he's all excited about being, you know, getting in the weight room and doing different things and he likes working out, which is good. Yeah, how many of those do you have to do to get a full lap? How many of these do you have to get to do a full lap? Well, a lap is a quarter of a mile. How much is a quarter? 25. So when it gets to point twenty-five, that'd be a one lap. Can you press stop? Ah, keep going. Cool down. So then Saturday, June 25th, we head out from Jackson and make it to go Shores. We face a little bit of rain on the way there. We, that's got one thing we were kind of worried about this year. It was showing like 50% or so, 40%, 50%, 60% every day rain. Um, it actually turned out turned out really well for us, but but we caught some rain on the way there when we got close to Mobile, Alabama, uh, and there was some heavy. I mean, Mobile, Alabama should be about a forty-five minute drive to go shores, but we uh, we were getting close north, you know, getting close to Mobile, and it was showing about it was showing about a couple hours still, and luckily we we're luckily you know the the. GPS on the phone can redirect you. We went around Mobile, so we didn't go through the tunnel on the way there, but we didn't catch it on the way back. Um, but then we, you know, we get there and we walk out to the beach and do all that stuff. And
then we go eat out the hangout. We really, really do like to hang out, and this year was the first year we actually stayed in Gulf Shores. We usually stayed in Orange Beach. We actually never really went to Orange Beach this year, um, but that's where we usually stayed was in a hotel right on the around the beach in Orange Beach, but we stayed in a condominium that's on the beach in Gulf Shores, and it's just, we, we loved it because it was just walking distance to everything. We just walked to the hangout and walked to all these other things and stores and whatnot. Yeah, that's what we did on Saturday, June 25th. Then on Sunday, June 26th, um, there was a little bit of cloud cover, but it was, you know, weather was good, so we, you know, were able to go. We went to the beach for several hours, and. Gonna put the world away for a minute, pretend I don't live in it. Sunshine gonna wash my blues away. Had sweet love, but I lost it. She got too close, so I fought it. Now I'm lost in the world, trying to find me a better way. Wishing I was knee deep in the water somewhere. Got the blue sky breeze, and it don't seem fair. Only worry in the world is the tide gonna reach my chair. What'd you get? And then uh, we're able to go to the track, do some things there. We always like to you know, run the go-karts and the water boats and then play the games and... Go faster. Push down hard, go faster. <laughs> Push down, push down harder. Push your foot down. You know, we also ate at the Cactus Cantina Mexican Grill, which is really good. There's one in Orange Beach, and there's one in Gulf Shores. And the one, in, you know, one in Orange Beach was right across the hotel we used to stay in, but this one here in Gulf Shores is right close to the tracks. So it worked out well for that. Monday, June 27th, our second full day, like perfect, I mean, extreme sun. <laughs> you know, UV on your phone would say extreme or 11. It was a really good day. Planned on going to Lulu's that night and then y'all you know, put our name on the waiting list at 6 p.m. after two hours of waiting and we did all the stuff, we ropes course stuff or whatever. Whatever and looked at their shop and you know, after two hours, 8 p.m., we were still 57th in line, 57th on the wait list. Um, so we decided to leave. And we went to another place, it was gonna be an hour and a half, and then we ended up going to the Sunliner Diner, which I've been wanting to go to anyways. I was planning on going there for breakfast, trying that, but then we went there for dinner. Turned out to be pretty good, but we didn't eat till about nine, and about nine o'clock is when my phone was popping up saying, your table's ready at Lulu's, but we were already, at the diner and so but we we like lulu's you gotta get yourself on the wait list early
You washed your hair? Have you washed your hair since you've been here? But also on Monday, June 27th, Madison's been wanting to go parasailing for a while. And so then um, I got her and Sai signed up to do it. And then Adrian was able to be on the boat as, I'm, as an observer. You know, it cost a little bit, but I, I think it was worth it one time for them. Uh, you know, and so they were able to go parasailing over the water, you know, in the ocean. They, they loved it. And then on Tuesday, June 28th, our last full day, um, another good day of weather, good day of sun. Uh, those sunburns are really kicking in now. And But that morning, Cy and I, Cy and I were able to do uh, fishing on the pier, which is something we've been wanting to do. And we're able to, you know, he was, you know, he's, he's really big at where we, He's really big into fishing. We both like to fish, and uh, so we were able to do that. On the beach and then later that night we were able to try another place we haven't been to before called Seas and Suds and it was really good. Seas and, and Suds. It's on the beach and it's seafood. Sunrise, there's a fire in the sky, never been so happy, never felt so high and I think I might have found me my own kind of paradise. the scenes of taking pictures on the beach is what you're seeing right now. So, so then Wednesday, uh, June 29th, our last day there that we're heading out, we're gonna we're gonna drive. We leave Gulf Shores and drive and go to uh, stay in Louisiana, stay in West Monroe, Louisiana. Well, you know that that rain that we were seeing that was gonna happen. Well, it, ca it came. It came Wednesday morning. It raining hard but we looked out we were you know able to have some good days you know a lot of i mean a lot of good sun the whole time it was just the day we were leaving if it, if i could plan it you know, i hate it for people that were 
that were that you know that were there all day and i think it rained on thursday also uh there in gulf shores a lot but it was i tried to get on video one of the loud i mean it was like the lightning was like right on top of you like that loud whip uh cracking whip sound over and over again and i told andrew and, and she was like well, okay you know and, but uh but i told her that you know even with the the loud you know lightning and thunder you know that you hear still something about it like it was i don't know, uh it was peaceful it was peaceful hearing i really liked it Filming the last day here, going up the circular stairs. You made the bed? Yeah. Did you make it? Yeah. Sweet. I don't drop my phone. Drop it. Sorry. All right. Look, it's a wonderful surprise. Then on that last day, that Thursday. June 30th, the last you know, the last day to be on the road and we make it back home. But there in uh, West Monroe, Louisiana, we, we stopped at the Duck Commander store and it, we hadn't been there since 2015 and it's changed a little bit. It was a little bit smaller and they do Duck Commander tours now. Uh, but I was able to get, I was able to get a good, good mug out of the deal. We spent a lot of time, um, you know, we, we usually would go to the beach uh, for a few hours and then come back and go to the pool for, well, what, you know, an hour or longer and then uh, go to the pool. Also, we'd go to the pool at night um, after we got back from eating or whatnot. And we spent a long time at the pool. It's got, it was a good pool area. I liked this pool better than like a, the hotel pool that we had. Uh, and, and the kids were good at making friends mckinley mckinley was really good uh she just saw you know girls close to her age and she was like i'm gonna go play i'm, I'm gonna go play right now inside mckinley we were able to get both get crabs while they were there at a the shark attack store shark attack you know the souvenir city Watch for that car. Alright, let's go. What'd you get? I got a crab. We're the explorer crab. <laughs> Mom's gonna be so freaked out. Freaked out? Yeah. Mom will? We found us a little coffee shop. It's inside a little convenience store called Pier 33, uh, West Beach Coffee House.
really good. I uh, played Christian music, um, had little laminated little Bible verses that you could just take. You know, they were free to take, uh, but it was really good. I had a, every morning, every morning, had a large caramel Americano, really good. Large Americano with caramel. It was 7.30 in the morning, get some coffee. So, but that was our trip. That was our trip to Gulf Shores, 2022. Zaxby's.